it never dawned on me until about four or five years into network marketing that finding prospects was a skill. What? I thought it was a natural resource. I never thought it was a skill. It's actually a skill that you could develop and you could nurture and you could improve and you could get better at? Okay. That's a new thought. So I started to look at what the successful people did. And let me just give you something to start off with. From Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki. The richest people in the world look for and build networks. Everyone else looks for work. I think that's so true. This is a life skill, people. It's not just a network marketing skill. Finding people, meeting people, interacting with people, bringing value to other people, being, building relationships with other people, strengthening your network, strengthening your influence, being more powerful. It's a life skill. All the great leaders in the world understand this. They know how to shake, shake more hands. They know how to provide more value. They know how to connect with more people. Harvey McKay, my good friend, he talks about this. He has a book called Dig Your Well Before You're Thirsty. A lot of people think, you know, like uh, How to Swim with the Sharks Without Being Eaten Alive as their favorite book. This is my favorite book of his books. Dig your well before you're thirsty. What does that mean? Build relationships before you need them. Build friendships before you need them. Bring value to somebody else before you ask for value out of yourself. Like Gary said, jab, jab, jab. And then, you know, give, give, give. And then ask. Dig your well before you're thirsty. Harvey McKay is a real living example of what he talks about. He's one of the most powerful networked guys I know. And he's my friend. And I'll give you an example of the kind of guy that Harvey is. I've, we've done a few interviews. How many have seen Harvey's interview on Network Marketing Pro? The rest of you, go back in the archives and find it. It's really good. The guy's wildly successful. But I, needed, I had a, an issue. My wife, um, my stepson with my wife Marina, uh, was trying to figure out his visa to get his green card to get to the United States. You know, after we got married, all these different challenges, huge challenges, and they were saying, no, can't do it. So I called Harvey and said, Harvey, can you help? And my friend Harvey, who's more busy than anybody I know practically, he called senators, he called Congress people, he called the fundraisers for those people, and said, this needs to be a priority. If Harvey asks something of me, guess what the answer is going to be? Yes, whatever. Doesn't matter what it is. If he asked me to look at an opportunity, guess what I would say? Absolutely, when and where, Harvey. See, he understood and understands the value of building networks, digging your well before you're thirsty. He has some basic fundamental principles. His father, who is an uh, Associated Press reporter, sat him down at age 21 and said, Harvey, now that you're out of school, every person that you meet for the rest of your life, get their contact information, put them into your Rolodex, and find a creative way to stay in touch, find a way to provide value to those people. And if you'll do that, Harvey, everything else in business and in life will take care of itself. Just start today. 